Welcome back to the final training video in the Flax Language series. In this tutorial, I'm going to take you through how to build your own open language collections. This time looking at the activities that you can build on to the podcast collections that we built in the previous tutorial. So we'll be looking specifically at a hangman game, a split sentences game, and a collocations completion game. So stay tuned. The future, as we know, is very unpredictable. The best minds in the best institutions generally get it wrong. This is now, if we return to the activities tab at the top here, um, we'll go into the activities options area. Um, let's start with Hangman. This is a very simple game, um, just for you know, looking at particular words within a text. What the tool will do, what Flax will do, is it will pull out the main content words from the lecture. So there are 103 content words here, mainly verbs and nouns, adjectives, adverbs as well. So I'm just going to select a few here, systematic, or sorry, systemic, tapestry, pyramid, and pandemic, and just click on display. And you'll see the hangman's gallows appear. So you just go through and select letters and play the game of hangman. So a very, very simple entry level type of activi activity. With any game that you make within the FLAX system, you can save it. So it'll be there um, for yourself and for other users to use later. Let's return to the Activities tab and select a different type of activity. Um, now we're going to move on to split sentences. So um, with the same lecture transcript, um, what we have here is the ability to pull out sentences and then split them. So we're just going to call this demo once again. Um, there are 63 sentences selected. You can change those parameters by um, making the number of words per sentence higher or lower. As you can see above here, we've got a minimum of three words or maximum of 15. So I'm going through and I'm um, deciding which sentences to keep. You can move the um, sliders to different parts within the sentence, deciding where you want the sentence to break for the activity. Okay, and once again, just deciding which sentences you're going to keep and which ones you're going to deselect by clicking on the Remove Sentence button. So when you're ready, just go down and click on Display and this will bring up the split sentences activity. Um, so you can see the sentences have been split where you position the slider. So the feature as we know it is very unpredictable. The best minds and the best institutions generally get it wrong. Taken from the first sentence of Ian Golden's talk. We've seen it in the pandemic flu. We've seen it in the financial crisis. Mm. A lot of this is driven by what's happening in technology. Finally, you can check once you think you've got them all done. Okay, so you can save this as well. And then returning to the activities area, you can go on to select a new activity and create a new activity for your students or for yourself. So let's go all the way down and choose a collocations activity, perhaps collocation completion number 13. Okay, so you can see here in the middle grey area you have all of the collocation patterns and notice how the 
numbers here change according to which pattern you select. So once again I'm just calling this demo. I've selected verb plus noun, for example, make a difference. And there are 25 of these patterns within this particular transcript that Flex is going to generate here for review. So if we just scroll down, we can see the um, collocations that have been highlighted. If you click on the words in blue, this will switch which part of the collocation will be appearing in the activity. And you can also deselect particular sentences with collocations that you don't feel are relevant. So here I want to change to build resilience against. Here, create huge opportunities. I'm going to make opportunities the, the word that I want to be guessed. Um, perhaps if something is a little bit too vague or perhaps too specific, I'm going to deselect the sentence. This is quite nice though. Replicate parts of the body, regenerate parts of the body, and deselecting as I see fit. So, continuing on, manage systemic risk. Deselect that one, it seems a bit too vague. And this one as well. Weave these tapestries, that seems nice. Managing the planet. Mm. No, I will keep that one, that's quite good. Okay, and then click on display. And this is more challenging because there are no clues here, it's a more advanced activity. Um, there is the Achilles heel of growing inequality. And just checking the answer and continuing on to the next question. We have to build resilience against Next question, it will create huge opportunities in technology, miniaturization as well. So you get the idea. So returning back to the main collections area, when you're ready, you can move your collections in the under construction area up to the finished collections area. So I'm just going to shift the financial crisis lectures collection that I've been building up into the finished area and this is going to appear actually on the website, the FLAX website so now your collection is an open collection of language resources that other people can use however if you want to continue building the collection you can move it back down to the under construction area by just dragging it like this and this will take it away from the website um, open access area and it will remain behind the scenes until you are happy with it so once again um, you can build collections by adding text also adding auxiliary text so information about the text that you're using such as licenses, information about the speakers, um, you can also add images, audio files, and YouTube URL. And this brings us to the end of our do-it-yourself podcast corpora tutorial with Flax using YouTube video, audio, image, and text files, and benefiting from the powerful language analyses features within Flax. So please get in touch with us and register and we'll help you build collections and we'd love to hear back from you in terms of feedback as well. Thank you for following.